The future is urban. By the end of this century, almost all of us will live in cities. By 2030, the world will have 41 megacities of over 10 million inhabitants, some, such as Tokyo, with over 40 million. The great urban migration could be the most important change that mankind faces. Our urban future will shape how we live, work, consume and socialise. It will bring socio-economic, environmental, design and personal challenges and with that, many opportunities. The flexible space, the healthy space, the remade space, the maker space. The flexible space. Due to pressures of space and the rise of single person living, city dwellers are living increasingly nomadic lifestyles in smaller spaces. Designers, architects and planners are applying their ingenuity to adapt to these challenges. They are optimising available space with flexible, transformable and adaptable design. So how to better design smaller living spaces? Our approach has very much been to just look at areas of need, like, you know, eating, sleeping, relaxing. You can design something very much uh, thoughtfully and cleverly and in 20 square meters and feel you have much more space than you have in 35 square meters that are not thoughtfully designed. We have to rethink what it is that we really need to live with. You have things that you really care about and uh, that you are looking after but you haven't got too much uh, of stuff. The healthy space. City living means spending much of our time indoors. So, the places we live, work and play have a profound effect on our well-being. The major challenge we face with rapid urbanization to our health and well-being is air, light and noise pollution. Lighting colors are inherently linked with our well-being in the built environment, so we need to use lighting systems that are more responsive to our needs throughout the day. Introducing plants into buildings in the built environment can help strengthen our connection with nature and natural systems. The remade space. For the first time in history, urban waste is growing faster than the rate of urbanisation. By 2025, it is estimated that annual worldwide urban waste will be more than triple from 0.68 to 2.2 billion tonnes per year. It's interesting now to see designers really engaging with waste materials since manufacturers have been doing this for a really long time and realising good use and good profit out of it. But now that the stigma around the word waste is kind of falling away, designers have realised that there is a lot of untapped material there for them. Fresso started as an exploration of timber waste and is now a composite material that echoes Terrazzo's classic aesthetic. I think it will be very interesting in the near future to see how cities utilise circular economies and bring recycling and remaking much closer to home. The maker space. The maker movement is creating a revolution in manufacturing, democratising digital fabrication to allow anyone, anywhere to create their own items. I think the rapid urbanisation we're seeing is forcing us to rethink the production of goods in cities and the maker movement is powerful in helping us to imagine local production. For me, the future city is one where digital fabrication, the decentralizing of making and the maker movement have inspired people to produce things locally. Open Desk is a new kind of furniture company that distributes the making of furniture uh, through a network of independent local fabricators using digital fabrication. Um, we fabricate furniture in cities around the world as close to customers as possible.